Okay, thought I would show off some of the uh, performance of the Nexus 6, the Google Motorola Nexus 6, running Android 10 Lineage 17. I posted a message, uh, excuse me, a YouTube video a week or so ago, just showing that I had it working on this device, and I got a number of questions wondering what the performance was like. So I thought I would, you know, just show you all just how it performs um, and some of the expectations you should have if you decide to do this to your Nexus 6. Now, the battery on this Nexus 6, it is a six-year-old, you know, fairly good-sized, uh, powerful phone. The battery is not healthy. Uh, so if you look at, like, the battery charge meter here, I actually have it plugged in right now just to be safe, even though it's at 94%. But uh, I, I just wanted to kind of give you a feel for how it's running because actually I had somebody that came on and said uh, that, wow, it's, it's really, really slow on his version of the Nexus 6. And I'm not sure I agree with that. I think it's not fast, uh, but I am not certain I'd call it slow necessarily. I'm just kind of poking around here, doing stuff right here in, in uh, Chrome, doing a little web browsing. You know, it's, it's not bringing up the illustrations literally 100% immediately, but that could have as much to do with my Internet connection as it does with this uh, phone. As far as just scrolling through documents, uh, scrolling through web pages, it actually seems to do pretty well. Um, you know, it, it does eventually start getting all your... Uh, I guess those are probably ads that are loading right there, so I'm not that upset that ads aren't loading quickly. Uh, the Android gestures, like to uh, go back one page, you swipe from like the left-hand side of the screen. Those are working. I still am not 100% used to using them. Uh, you know, it's it's a adjustment from using the home buttons that used to be on here. If you swipe up from the bottom, it throws anything that you have down into the tray there. Just to show you real quick, under CPUX, you'll see that it has four cores all running at, well, they're bouncing around in speed right now, but all four cores are active. Uh, you also probably notice that I'm running the screen, uh, uh, the screen recording feature. This is built into all Android 10. Uh, devices. They all have the, the integrated screen recording, but for whatever reason, Google decided to turn that off before they started releasing Android 10 to the public. I know it's supposed to be built into Android 11. Uh, a lot of manufacturers like LG and Samsung have added this feature back in. Uh, there is a way to turn it on yourself, and I probably will go ahead and do a um, video on how to activate that the way that I did here. Uh, it does nice native integrated screen recording. You can actually see where my finger is dragging right there. If you look you know, right in the middle of the screen, you can see how I drag from the right hand side to get out. Um, this has, you know, uh, notification areas. The new uh, design on this that I really like is that I can change the color of these various uh, themes here. I chose this red color just because it's kind of unusual. Um, but I mean, really, I feel like the performance of this is pretty good for being a six-year-old phone and a brand spanking new, well, I guess Windows, uh, uh, Android 10 is a brand spanking new, but it's a uh, the latest version of Android, and it just, it really does run pretty well on this. Uh, so, yeah, um, if you get Android 10 lineage and put it on one of these Nexus 6, this is the Motorola Nexus 6 from 2014, uh, you know, you'll probably like it. So, I do. Um, hope this is helpful to you, and uh, yeah, so enjoy.